Unless chat has some other preferences, we'll go to station 20. Get to see Rex find that up throw, bring us to an even two stock count against two popcorn. A player that's been pretty good, all things considered. Two popcorn's been doing pretty well as of late. It's got a lot of good understanding of uh, neutral and generally, generally solid situations. Uh, we'll see how it ends up. Playing out though, Carful in frame one. All right, good. All right, cool. All right, so now I'm here. I'm back. Yeah, there you is. All right, I am joined by Chioli, and uh, we're here in uh, wave A. We're looking at two popcorn versus Rex, and it looks like Rex is down to his final stock, and we have Palatina with a 34 uh, percent on the, on the second stock. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Yes. There's been some good stuff so far. Uh, this matchup, traditionally, uh, being very Pikachu favored uh, in concept, but that's not really saying much given how a lot of things are Pikachu favored in concept, but rarely end up translating in practice. Or? Yeah, which is a shame because I think the character does have a lot of stuff going for them. It's just the player base being pretty small means that everything's just going to develop a whole lot slower. Ooh. I, th I thought that was GG's. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That's okay, that should be a kill. Oh no. No, no not. Down smash isn't, is pretty strong, but it's not that strong. On Town and City, I thought it would have took uh, taken the stock, but I guess not. Yeah, Let's not, see. Not quite. Wait, I'm. Oh man, did Ray Luna get robbed? That's crazy. I mean, Bayo Sonic is uh, certainly a little rough, but. Oh man, more, it's more than rough. Apparently, it's really? one of Bayo's worst matchups. Is it Bayo's worst matchup? It's probably not great, but. It's, it's, probably, a, it's probably not that bad. I don't At know. Least maybe I'm. One. Maybe I'm. Uh, for sure, it's probably like uh, winning for Sonic if it's winning for anybody. But oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm Bayo pilled because of watching 
with like Lima and stuff. Like, there's so many good Bayonetta players, like Lima and Deathspade and um, Tomopi, I think, in Japan. Like, it's just so good. Our very own uh, Amaryllis here in New York, so we were not no strangers yeah. to, to Bayonetta's. Uh, this Ooh. could be Ooh. it. If you got oh, the right hit of up air there, it yeah. was it. But uh, you know what? I'm I'm a fan of Rex. Like he's analyzing his wind conditions. It's like, all right, I'm staying alive with with quick attacks. I'm staying small. I'm, ooh, trying to find extra pressure with the jab. But good playing around that from two popcorn. And he was right. He was right on the quick attack out of the oh, corner. Man, I think. Oh well, we got it. I knew he was fishing for something at that ledge because I think he wanted a back throw, but he realized after after Rex pressed the button that he could maybe get you know the, you know, the cross up back here. So got you know got just that and yeah, got to get you out of there. Some good spacing as well uh, to really get the lowest possible back air to wait for uh, the Pikachu to like land or even if he tried to like crouch underneath things. Pikachu's crouch isn't like that crazy, but it's like it's pretty good. Quite good actually. Go some move I believe while, while yeah he does have a crawl. It just doesn't like squish him down in the same way it does for like Greninja or something or like Snake. But it does, he gets, he's already low to the ground and he gets even lower. Uh, ooh, okay. Yep, the up air extension looking for the follow up. Nice recovery route there from Two Popcorn. It's, Pikachu's got so many of those like little knowledge checks of like, there's ways to recover around this, but do you know them? Do you know the timing which to jump and like get around some of these? For a very, very dangerous situations. How about both of them? We're all in Pikachu being off stage. A nice punish. How, how do you feel about about going back to Thomas City? What, what do you think? Oh, I think this is fine. Like, you're always looking. Yeah, the forward smash not gonna in there. But you're always looking for like off stage kills anyway. If you're Pikachu and. Like, Town and City's blast zones are generally more beneficial for that. The platform rotation between FD, uh, side plats, and tri plats are never added, never put Pikachu at a disadvantage. Like, the stage was not the problem. For there that. is one backfire for this matchup, though, and it's when you get down throw backyard by Palo at 50 and dodge. Yes, yeah, that is true. However, um, you're Pikachu, don't get grabbed. <laughs> let's see, let's see. So far, Pikachu is in the lead, but. You know, Palutena can easily bring it back, and there you go. All right, that was that was Man you. God. That was you got me. Yeah, oh. <laughs> that was. <laughs> All right, the forward air comes down. Okay, let's see. Right, yeah, finding the second of the down airs. So I'm looking for the forward smash with that trap. Sometimes you just gotta do it, but two popcorn was playing a little bit too up tempo for that. Burned both jumps there. And sometimes all you need is those little reflex too, like just a way to cancel out one T jolt and gain some um, some tempo to gain stage, like a little bit of time. Oof, that could have been rough. All right, nice. Palu's reflector also stays out a little bit if she activates it, so it can actually stop if Pikachu tries to do two thunder jolts as an approach option, which is nice too. Yeah, a little bit of extra timing there if you can catch both of them. Okay, Dash that comes the down. I think that's the first headbutt we've seen all game, so he still has a lot of PPs to work with. Yeah. He's gonna be throwing that out though. Like at these percentages, yeah. Oh man. That was almost a critical hit. It's a little early though. Like Dash Attack's not gonna be closing. It's a consistent kill option, but like you're playing on town and city. Like your vertical kill uh, kill uh, tools are not as good. 22! Wow, well. Curious to see how 22 goes. Well, let's finish out this game. And then we'll pivot right over 22 rocking. We'll see how, if two popcorn is able to close out the set here, or if we'll go to game three. Dash that comes in. DDD. Oh my God, the helper DDD. And he's cooking. Oh no, this could be it. Oh no, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, and I know Pikachu down. can definitely drag people off stage. I mean, yeah, we're saying. Oh my oh God. Oh my God. No. The platform, the homiest platform of all time. Town and city. Town and oh, city. No, that, that, that was, that's insanity. That's in <laughs> I was like, oh, two popcorn isn't gonna die from that, and then the game. And then like, the platform. Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> the platform came over and helped oh, him out. That's man. nuts. All is right. that a Terry? Yeah. Let
So Station 20 then, and round out this game. Uh, Smashville just instantaneously feels like a much more controlled pick. Like you are trying to, like hitting Pikachu is hard, but if you're able just to like cover space uh, with either active hitboxes or general movement, like you can intercept with Pikachu a, lot, a whole lot better. And you oh, know what? That's what two yeah. platforms trying to do. <laughs> get him out of there. You're playing around the platform, not able to find the. Anything. Oh, I love that. I'm always just oh. like a fan of seeing Pilotana players mix in uh, raw nares into their combos. It's like, I want to get you to a platform. How do I do that? Rather than, I landed an air, let me do my bread butter. No. Like, slightly different. I I'm not sure if this is. I'm assuming this is a, a great stage for Pilotana, this and Hollow Bastion, I'm assuming because of the center platform? Yeah, the center platform, like, Palutena generally wants this p type of platform height because her down throw sets up to it very well. Her nair sets up to it very well. Like, just getting into a juggle state is easier when a platform is more accessible, and the Smashville slash Hollow Bastion platforms are very accessible. On top of that, the Smashville one's also really good because it's super high. It lets Palutena just fastball to it and put her shield up, like, immediately. And what are you going to do about one aerial? Good for you, Pikachu. Yeah. Oh wait, like, oh no, you up aired me, like damn. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Pikachu does have some like neat drag down stuff on uh, on the Smashville platform particularly because uh, it's a really good height for full hop fair. But on um, Rex's, is, it's kind of, I don't want to say anything anymore after, I don't want to say nothing at all at this point. Oh man. Oh, the right, right there, when I said the back that, you know, Rex is really making, you know, trying to make a comeback. He's racking up some damage. What have you done? Uh, I've done. I did it to him, man. Rex, if you look back at this and you see, you see what I've done to you, just know I was rooting for you. You know. Yep. Yeah. Good point, Gio over here. Ooh, the landing back here. You know, it's never over. It's hard. It's always possible with a character that has a lot of like just high edge guard potential. But man, like when it, if there's anything that two also, popcorn really knows how to do, it's play solid. Oh, not committing to the read. Yeah, I'm surprised two popcorn. Wow! Damn. Active. Well, Active as hell. Maybe we could catch the, the last few moments of Car Flow versus uh, Frame. Yeah, let's check it out. Station.